What's up everybody, my name is Brock Bailey and today I wanna to go over kind of a touchy subject for most of you and that's should you promote your wedding business on the knot in the wedding wire? Once again, sorry about the echo, I'm still working in my office. As you can see, I'm kind of, it's kind of coming along. As you can see, I kind of got my monitor right there and I got my laptop stand right there, I got my desk and now I need to put something up in this area right up here um, to give it some oomph and some lighting because right now I have this nice window light. It's nice to fuse. I got this nice little blind. Um, it can go up and down mechanically, um, but that's pretty good. So I just want to get some fill light, different kind of stuff like that to really make this office work. So on the Wedding Film School Facebook page, I always see, is the knot worth it? Is the wedding wire worth it? Um, and everybody is just bashing those people like, it's not worth it, I don't ever get anything or anything like that. And I'm here to tell you that's all wrong. Um, it's really all about how you market your business, if you have good content and if you're in the right areas. And one major thing, you need to be paying for the premium or the top spot of these platforms in order to get the best benefit for your buck. So today I want to kind of give you guys insight of what I learned from the wedding wire and the knot and I'm going to give you guys some advice and if you guys want to pursue this kind of marketing platform, overall they're great platforms, you just got to kind of know how to use them. So first when it comes to the two, um, I've had more success on the knot than the wedding wire. Um, I feel like the knot is more, much more established, much more user friendly, a lot more intuitive to clients and all that kind of stuff. Just the platform, your profiles, all that kind of stuff. It's very good to keep everything organized. Um, and overall, if you just type into Google, you're going to see, if you type in wedding videographers on Google, the knot is above wedding wire. So they're obviously doing something right with their SEO as well. Um, so the knot has been my go-to. I quit the wedding wire, like I said, about a year ago. On the wedding wire, it is absolutely not worth it unless you're gonna get the top spot. The top spot wasn't available in my area, um, so I wasn't able to ever have that top spot. So I don't know exactly how well it would have worked with that. Um, but if you guys are purchasing the lower plans, that's just a waste of money in my opinion. You're just giving away um, your money to wedding wire and also the knot. Um, so that's why I quit Wedding Wire. I was not seeing anything. I was booking like one wedding every three months on the Wedding Wire and it just wasn't worth my, my money. Um, I think I had it for about a year and I think I only booked like four weddings from Wedding Wire. Um, very low end weddings um, as, along with that. It was pretty much every single one I ordered my smallest package. Um, so I just really didn't see much value. I'd rather put more money and get into more markets with The Knot, which I'm gonna go over to now. So The Knot is another great marketing platform. As you can see, if you type in wedding videographer on Google, like I said, that's always the first thing that shows up. I feel also that it's only necessary to purchase the top plan on The Knot. That's the only way you're gonna get value for your buck. A lot of people that you hear aren't a big fan of The Knot is probably because they weren't on the top spot or they're in a bad area, which brings me to my next point. You wanna market your company in good areas, high in high market areas, not a place that's in the middle of nowhere, like, I don't know, Montana or something like that. You wanna market in bigger cities like Phoenix. That's where I'm located in Phoenix, so I have one in Phoenix, I have one in Hawaii, and with Hawaii, you get all the islands, just not one island. So that's a huge market. A lot of people like to go there for destination weddings. And that's kind of what I'm trying to get into, as you guys can tell from my previous videos. Um, so I market all of Hawaii. And now I market in the Northern California area, which is Sacramento, Lake Tahoe, Reno, all that kind of area. So I'm kind of tackling that market now. Um, I've already booked two weddings there. I've had it for about a week now, and I've already booked two weddings. Um, like I said, I'm on the top spot. Um, I believe there's only three of us on the top spot too, because you can fit in six and they just all rotate, um, but there are only three of us, so we're always rotating in the top three. So we're just staying up there, always getting a lot, a lot of traffic to our site. Um, I think over the last week I've had about 65 profile visits and about 31 of them actually went to my website and um, took a look through that. So um, the knot, is in my opinion one of my favorite marketing platforms. I get more retention from that than I do Facebook or Instagram and any of that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys market into high-end areas. You don't wanna do in the middle of nowhere. Um, you wanna do bigger cities. Right now I'm on the waiting list for Los Angeles, New York, and Chicago. 
Um, so I'm waiting for one of those to open up pretty soon. And once you're at the top, you have the top until they back out. So um, no one's ever gonna take your spot. Um, so unfortunately, I'm on the waiting list. That could be a long time before I get those areas, but when I do, I'll be able to reel in um, the money because that's where the higher end clients are, especially in New York and LA. So the bigger the market, the more people that come in with higher budgets, the more expensive your monthly payment's gonna be and um, the lower end markets is how low your payments are gonna be. So I think for Hawaii, I'm paying roughly 230 a month. And for Phoenix, I'm now paying 305 a month. And then um, Sacramento is kind of a more lower end, but I just really like the Lake Tahoe and Sacramento area um, because it's also cheap to fly into Sacramento. So that I am paying 180 a month and that puts me at the very top. Um, so yeah, there's also another great company called By Design Films. You'll see them in like 35 different markets. They're really doing good things. Um, the more markets you get in, the more exposure you get to brides. And um, that's kind of how your business takes off. The absolute most critical thing you guys need to know is that you need to have a well-established portfolio to even market in these places. Um, your work needs to be good. Your website needs to be attractive to brides. So all that stuff needs to be worked on before you're even marketing on these platforms. You don't want to go in as a rookie having a one or two weddings on your website or your guys is not profile and expect to get a ton of clients because um, they will just pass right by you and go into the more higher end, um, well-established companies. So you want to have a good portfolio. I don't think I started marketing on The Knot until I had about 10 to 15 weddings. Um, and that's kind of what I'm showing on my uh, profile. Um, I have about 15 weddings up on the knot that people can just look at countless, countless numbers of my work. And um, my stuff has been improving. I remember about three years ago when I started, it was kind of average. My films weren't that great. I didn't know a lot about um, certain composition and lighting and all that. And I've really fine tuned some of that in my grading. I've been able to really improve my films, create that story that I've always been talking about where story is the make or break of your guys' film. If you guys have a good story and you guys can put together a good edit, then you guys will sell um, your guys' product, no problem. I get emails every day saying, oh my gosh, you guys have such incredible work. You guys, you guys stand out from the rest of them. Um, you guys have good story. They can't stop crying when watching my films. All this is really, really good feedback from the brides um, that contact me through the knot and um, I know that my work is getting better. So it's always been a huge game changer when a bride contacts me saying that stuff. Um, I think every week now I'm getting about 10 to 12 leads um, through my email and then actually on my profile I'm getting anywhere from 50 to 100 views per week on my not profile. So I'm getting a lot of exposure um, another huge thing that's been a great thing for me is reviews. On The Knot, I have all my reviews from past clients. They're just talking about how awesome we were to work with and how valuable they, we were on their wedding day. Um, so what I encourage everyone to do as well is um, really hone in on your guys' clients and get reviews. Keep getting reviews left and right. Put them on The Knot, put them on your Facebook. Reviews are huge. Um, as you can tell, you probably do a lot of your searching, whether it be on Amazon or anywhere, you want good reviews before you buy the product. If you have crappy reviews or not a lot of reviews, you're gonna get passed up um, and they're gonna go to the next person that has those five-star reviews. So I try to go out of my way each and every wedding to have those clients review me on the knot. That's the number one thing I do. And then I have them review me on Facebook. Um, so that's the process of getting reviews from my clients. And this year I was lucky enough to uh, get this award. Let me show you. <laughs> Shut up. So this year I got this. It's the 2018 The Not Best of Weddings uh, Award. Um, this is because I got a lot of good reviews. I got a lot of attention um, of my clients and a lot of profile views. So you put in the work and only a few people get this. Um, I guess there's only 1% of the people that are on the knot get these awards. Um, so I was very fortunate to have that. It could be 1% or 3%. Anyways, it's still really good if you guys get an award. Um, then you get um, some buttons to put on your guys' profile, your website to really showcase that you've won an award with the knot and that you've been one of the best. Um, so I'm hoping to get more of these. This is the 2018 pick. So. 
Um, this was this year, so it's really helped me out as well to be able to have those credentials on my website and Facebook. So the knot has been huge for me. I totally recommend it for those of you trying to market your guys' wedding films. If you guys follow the process of being in a good market, having good work, getting reviews, um, paying for that top spot, I think everything below the top spot is a total waste of money. So if this top spot isn't available, I won't even worry about it. It's really hard. You're just gonna be spending 150 bucks a month for no reason um, because they're always gonna be looking at the top six before they keep scrolling down the page. So those are some tips and tricks for you guys of when it comes to the knot and the wedding wire. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the wedding wire. Um, I haven't had that much success, but then again, I've never been on the top spot, so I don't know exactly anything about wedding wire. So, so the knot has been good for me. It's been good for my business. I think last year from The Knot, I got 25 booked weddings. So I'm excited to see what The Knot does for me in the future. I'm excited to get into more markets. I think I wanna be in about 10 markets when it's all said and done. Um, unless I get to New York, Chicago, or LA, those markets are more expensive, $600 a month range. Um, so I am looking to keep those in the back of my head when it becomes available. And if it does, I'm just gonna really focus on that in Phoenix and um, kind of go from there. Also, I'm trying to go in a new venture in life as well. I'm starting to get into documentary and short films. So that's what I'm gonna be focused on the rest of this year and next year. Um, it's always been a huge dream and passion of mine to create a full length feature or short film, whether it be fiction or nonfiction. I'm more into the nonfiction, but we'll see where it goes. I'm gonna be meeting with my team here pretty soon to kind of go over what that will look like. I know we're gonna have to upgrade some equipment and really fine tune a script. Not really a script, but like a storyboard and direction of where everything's gonna go. Um, so I'm thinking more of a documentary, not really a short film because short film involves scripts, props. I think it's more of a budget that you're gonna need for short films. So it's up in the air. I, I kinda wanna do a documentary film um, kind of related to outdoors type of stuff or type some type of sport. So that's what I'm trying to get into. Um, so I'm gonna be emailing a few places I think that would be beneficial to do a documentary on. Um, so I'm just gonna reach out to people and see if they need a documentary and I'm gonna create that and hopefully pitch it to Netflix or enter some film festivals and really just um, hop on board with that. In a couple weeks, we are gonna be going to Iceland to shoot a wedding, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna bring you guys along with that. Hope I can get some vlogs and some travel stuff. Um, but there's just so much you can do. We're only gonna be there for five days. Um, we're excited to meet the couple and the wedding planner and um, we look forward to sharing stuff on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. So that's gonna do it for this one. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a great day. Peace out.